this is what we see at v380 pro app interface okay welcome back to this video this is the part two of this video if you have not watched the part one make sure you watch the part one so, so this is the code and we, i have to uh, uh, you put the code here click on next then they will tell me to set password give me just a moment let me set my password remember all these things they are telling you 8 to 40 character at least three types of character uppercase lowercase number symbol everything i believe everybody now to set password with these conditions so this condition must be met and your password should be strong in case of maybe somebody wants to break through or hang the system right so give me a moment let me set the password and i'll be back again i've set the password now right password i enter the password again so it's strong everything the condition they gave me i i fulfilled the condition i met them so is it is i click on confirm it's registering for me registration successful it's now loading the app interface for me so this is the app interface just click on i know and just leave it so this is what we see at v380 pro app interface so in this uh process i'm going to connect these three things together now i already connect uh my phone to the router then we have to link the camera to the router and all the three things will be in one net so before i can disconnect my phone from the router then anywhere i am once these two are powered and there's internet access then you are cannot see the camera so i'll click on you can add the camera in two ways either add device here or this plus sign then let's say okay let's just use this plus sign add camera session i'll click on add camera this is very important then the camera is like this i've connected the camera before that is why it's streaming this but pay close attention let me show you something then you swipe up are you seeing me let, let me do it again this camera has already been connected before so as i want to connect it again now instead of me to choose you if i choose it now it will take me directly to the light to the camera showing us live but i still want to connect it for the sake of this training so i will have to swipe up click on this place swipe up now take a look at this thing wi-fi camera 4g camera why so once you should understand what we are connecting is why what we are connecting now in this place is wi-fi camera if it is a uh, 4g camera let me say like the solar camera you will not click on 4g camera it will not take you just directly the process of uh, configuration then if it is wired camera you will do what you will not choose maybe this analog system this kind of camera a wired system but for the sake of time let's go ahead you click on what wi-fi camera we'll click on this one now another this another face we have qr code connection ap or spots then bluetooth connection wi-fi smart link connection note you click on ap or spot remember i've choose i've connected my photo this router and i've put the password before right so i'm not clicking on confirm i will not click on confirm let's allow it to load and i'll see it so this one is telling me that this is how the camera uh, code will look like when i want to choose it on the router on the other side click on this ap or spot click on it yeah now see our camera mv this uh, 77 and this code is for this device id right so we, once you see mv you see that this is the camera they are connecting this is the what they used to represent cameras like this you click on this mv uh number there is it's not connected uh, so they say it's connected let's restore the app to configure it finally and view it it's connecting our device is activating maybe if you don't have a strong network you might experience this delay right but it's activate activated device so it will not bring up this interface, right? Once you bring up this interface, maybe you can name customized device nickname. You can name it maybe kitchen or uh, your office or anywhere. But for the sake of, right, let's just click on home. Assuming it's installed inside the home, you click on home. If you don't select anything, you can just go ahead and click on view device. Just let's view our device. So these are device. This is the camera life. All together. So on the camera, they have uh, many, uh, many things to set up the camera this is ptz control right this is ptz then if i want to turn this camera now like this is the camera now if i want to turn it now this arrow now is what is yeah we to turn it. remember the camera is 360 rotate 360 degree so this is how to rotate it if i want to rotate it are we seeing it so this is how to rotate it let me rotate it i come and meet come and see my face this is how to rotate it so you can be controlling the camera anywhere you are in the world 
is not connecting again. This is network issue. So this is the camera. Then let me bring it up a little bit to come and see my face. So this is it. Hope I'm seeing it. So this is it. So this is the camera now. The issue why sometimes you press it and it's skipping is because of network. Then this is my face, right? So if I want to take snapshot of this system now, you can get snapshot here. All I need to do is to click on snapshot. It is saved to my phone. So in case maybe you are far away from a business place or your home and something's happening, you want to capture that scene, that event, you just click up. Or somebody is there that you want to see. You understand? We just click on click on snapshot and click on snapshot. It will just save inside your phone. That means the picture of that event. I've taken that picture of that event. So let's click on more. We have a light. We have light control. We have light control. We have on. Hope I see the camera is on. We have on. Then we have off. Then we have off. Again, we have auto. Auto means in the night when the camera says that it should bring light. Then we have on here. Are we getting it? So this is how it is. So we have other parameters. That's of the light. We have other parameters here in this place. We have motion sensor. We have alarm. This is alarm. You now put it off. Maybe you want to scare people away that there's camera something is happening and all that. You can the alarm. Then we have other things like uh we have other things like uh recording but on recording space you can only record where the camera is live because we did have memory card in this place we did have class storage on this phone right so we are currently record now maybe you want to record live event and the camera is there just click on record everything they are doing in that place will be recording right so we remove the record if you not save direct to the album that is to our full storage then another thing we i want to talk about is uh what we have a uh, is one way audio like if I want to speak to somebody in that in that place, I can click on tap on speaker, which is speak. Tap on uh and I give permission. Once I give permission, if I click on it, I will speak. Like I want to speak to somebody that is in this place, like this is my office. So what I will do is that I will have to click on speak. Hello? 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 Good afternoon. Hello? Good afternoon. Hello? The speaker is keeping it's speaking because of network. I mean, so I can talk with this now to anybody that's close to the camera. So feel free if you install maybe for somebody or for yourself, you can feel free to go through all this. And as a matter of fact, you understand it better. So this is how so this is how so this is how the system works. But make sure if you don't want the camera to be lagging, have a good network in that place, it's going to help you and save you a lot of stress. And the camera will be connected. You can connect the camera in space of two to five minutes if you have a good network. But if your network is not strong and stable, the network, the network and the system setting up of course can stress you for even over two to three hours. So I believe you all understand how to install the camera connected. Unless you turn back to home, when you turn back to home, you'll not be seeing the camera. So anytime you open the app, you just come and play and click on play, you now start seeing the camera live in wherever you install it. So this is everything about this uh, uh, Bob B380 Pro camera. All right, I believe I learned a lot in this training. All right, so. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I will guide you. Even on the business solar camera, I'll show you the process even from this app. But majorly, the app for their installation is U-Boss app. Yes, it's very important. So make sure you do what you click on the your YouTube channel. Make sure you click, you subscribe, then you like. You also share to others and also comment. If you have any issues or anything, drop your comment on how far maybe the system has helped you or anything. Then once again, I remain my humble self. My name is Eugene Isaiah. I'm going to see you at Global.